This is an old range receptacle and an old dryer receptacle. They became a code violation in 1996. I post mostly on TikTok, and on my TikTok, I posted a poll to see how what people would think, and the poll was split 50-50. I know, I believe I know, what that is, a neutral or a ground. And after letting people vote for a little while, a couple days later, I posted my response explaining what it is. So the reason I haven't put this on YouTube yet is I couldn't figure out how to do a poll on YouTube, so I couldn't put the first half. And then the second half, I made the mistake of telling the people I will give them my answer on May 25th. That was Memorial Day weekend, but I posted the answer. It's bad. I edited it wrong. I misspeak a couple times, but the proof is in it. So I haven't posted this on YouTube yet because I was like, oh, I'm going to not post a junky edit on YouTube with all the misspeaking and, and the bad edits. But I feel like I'm not posting on YouTube enough unless I'm bitching at somebody. So for the people who actually enjoy my content, I felt like I owed them a video. So let me know if you think that's a neutral or a ground. Thank you very much. All right, here's the answer to my survey. It's a neutral. Without a doubt, I'm going to prove it here. Tons of receipts in this video. Just need to let you know, this is so much a neutral that since 1975, this has been required to be fed with an insulated conductor. Unless it's fed with SEU from a main panel, that needs to be an uh, insulated conductor. So that means that these were never allowed to be fed with a 10-2. And that means if they're fed with a 10-2 Romex, they're not even grandfathered as an existing location. There seems to be this misconception that dryers and stoves gained the need for a neutral in the 90s. They've always had a neutral. They've always needed a neutral because they've always had internal components that were 120 volts. I have a stove from 1968 that is designed to put up to 15 amps on the neutral. My modern electronics in a modern stove put a third of an amp on the neutral. So the idea that electronics would be the reason why we added that fourth conductor in the 90s, when we went to this, we didn't add a neutral. See, the neutral was there. We added a ground. And I really want to add that that 1975 rule was always there from the 40s. Um, but in 1975, it just became clear. Before 1975, it's kind of muddied and debatable. All right, let's check the survey and then we'll get into the proof. On Instagram, 53% of the people were wrong when they said ground. And on TikTok, 51% of the people said ground and they were wrong. I am doing a video that the majority of the people who watch my video disagree with. This should be fun. I'm sure the comments will be quite pleasant. Okay, first, just the packaging. The shape is called a non-grounding receptacle. The directions that come with it call for the neutral to go on that screw. Let's look at other receptacles. This receptacle is rated for 250 volts. It's two huts in the ground. This is what two huts in the ground look like. This is what two huts in a neutral look like. And if you look, you can tell because this is only rated for 250 volts. This is rated for 125 and 250 because you can get your 120 between those two. So now when we flip this, we have two brass and a green with a bonding strap to the yoke. When we flip this, we have two brass and a silver with no bonding strap to the yoke. When we flip this one, that is the combination of both of them, we have two brass, silver, and a green. And the green has a bonding strap to the yoke. That U is the one that's green, and the silver is the one that's bent, just like here. So, of course, over the years, with all the changes, there's slightly different wording, and there's already different wording in this rule from 20 to 23. So I'm going to go to the 23 to show you the wording there. All right, now we're in the 23. In the 23, frames and dryers. Here's the rules for how we do it new. That's the full wire. But here's when it says how we handle existing branch circuits. So if you have an existing branch circuit that the equipment grounding conductor is not present. So right there, that automatically would be another sign that it's a neutral because if it has the equipment grounding conductor, you can't use this. So when there's no equipment grounding conductor, the frame of the appliance shall be permitted to be connected to the grounded conductor. The frame is being connected to the grounded conductor. Now, in order to use this exception as this in an existing location, these are the qualifications. You have to match the first three and then one of the last two. And what is number four? The grounded conductor is insulated or the grounded conductor is uninsulated and part of an SC cable. Uninsulated 10-2 Romexes do not meet this qualification. Okay, definitions, 2020. Neutral conductor. It is connected to the neutral point of the system and designed to carry current under normal conditions. That is designed to carry current under normal conditions, not a fault condition. 
This is designed to carry current under fault conditions. So now as I go back to old codes, the exceptions and the wording changes and it would be hard to do a really deep, complete dive and say I didn't miss any exceptions. But the common denominator in all the codes is it says the frame may be bonded or connected to the grounded conductor. That says that all the way back in the 1942 code. And the 1975 code is when it says that conductor must be insulated. In the 40s, in the 40s it says like all conductors must be insulated unless otherwise stated. So I'm kind of looking for a negative and it doesn't work that way. The only time I can find this saying we don't need an insulated conductor is in SEU, but it's not listed in the rules of the dryer and frames. It's just listed other places in the code. But there is a line in the 1942 code, or 1940 code that says all conductors will be insulated. Maybe it was the 47 code. But back in there, like I said, it gets muddled. But I'm going to show you the 75 code because that's where I find it's the clearest. All right, 1975 handbook. Frames of dryers. Again, it's the same thing. Where, uh, where can I find it now? Um, so here we go, the 75 code. It says, grounded to the grounded circuit conductor. And number three says you can do it not smaller than number 10. And insulated, the grounded conductor must be insulated. The 1947 code book, frames of dryers and ranges. Actually, it just says ranges, but grounded by a connection to the grounded circuit conductor. There you go. So I focused on dryers. I don't have a lot of time to do a lot of tapes or a lot of um, editing, so hopefully I didn't misspeak. Same rules apply for ranges, but everyone did ranges in SEU. A bunch of people thought it was okay to do ring, uh, dryers in Romax. That's crazy. But I have some old handbooks. The 96 handbook really gets into it. The 68 handbook really gets into it. And they really explain the meaning behind all of it and why they did it and why they didn't do it. It had to do with World War II. It's really interesting. I just don't have any more time to put into this video today because it's Memorial Day. When I said I was going to post the answer today, I forgot it was a Saturday of Memorial Day. So i got to get off the phone before I'm divorced. So thank you very much.